Hello, welcome back to Calabama Cooking. I'm Chef Lorius. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited. You're probably wondering why do I have on my Redskins shirt? Well, because right now this video is being filmed during fall and fall here in Virginia is football time and that means go Redskins go. Now, if you don't like the Redskins, I'm sorry. Don't give me a thumbs down. Just tell me what team you do like down there, okay? Comment below, who do you like? All right, let's jump right into it, guys. Today we're gonna make spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is this big yellow beauty right here. Now these are amazing. You can roast them in the oven. They're actually very easy to cook and they are a great substitute for pasta because they actually taste like a carbohydrate. I would say they taste like pasta, but that's not quite true. But they taste like a carbohydrate, which is really what you want. All right, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you how to roast it, and then we're going to get the meat out of it. Yes, you call the inside the meat, and we're going to do some fun things with it. So all you gotta do to roast it, first of all, is take a paring knife, and you just wanna poke holes all around it. Now be careful, don't poke a hole in yourself, okay? See how I'm turning this around? This is just how they look. They just come yellow like this. You're gonna roast this in the oven on 350 degrees for about an hour or until it's tender. And how you'll know it's tender is you'll take a knife, a knife just like this, and you'll be able to very easily push it in. And that's when it's done. You roast this whole. Okay, well, our spaghetti squash is roasted in the oven for an hour on 350. Now, I let it rest for a few minutes because when it comes out of the oven, it's very hot, okay? So be careful. First thing you wanna do is cut these ends off. See how easy they come off? Just like that. Slice this in half, okay? Okay, and there's the inside of your cooked spaghetti squash. Now we are going to scoop out the insides, okay? So to do so, you wanna get a nice big spoon and literally, you're just gonna And I'm just gonna set them aside. Now you can save the seeds and roast them if you'd like to. But you just wanna get this middle of the seed gunkiness out, okay? See that? And these seeds roast very nicely. You can put a little salt on them, roast them, and they're just a great snack. Or you can even serve them on top of a salad or something, okay? Just like so. I'm gonna start the skillet, okay, warming up. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there. Put a few tablespoons of butter. For starters, we'll probably use more, but we're gonna start there. You're gonna take your spaghetti squash, just like so. That's all you're gonna do. And if you run across another seed, just take it out, because again, when you're taking the seeds out with the spoon, you don't wanna destroy all of this good meat. <laughs> right here, see? Put it right in our skillet, okay? Now, if you're gonna stuff these, because you can cook this inside, or I shouldn't say cook, it's already cooked. As you season the inside, you can put it back into the middle of this and serve it like a spaghetti squash boat. If you do that, you wanna leave about that much around it so that there's a good foundation and a basis for it so it doesn't fall out of the, the squash, okay? We're gonna add some olive oil in here as well. And then we're gonna take, this is just an Italian seasoning blend I put together with salt and pepper and parsley and oregano and thyme. <laughs> and we're just gonna mix that in with it as well. It's got some fresh ground pepper in there as well. And keep using olive oil as you go. <laughs> we're gonna add some Pecorino Romano cheese to this. Just like so. A little more olive oil. That cheese is gonna melt. Look how delicious that looks. It smells like an Italian kitchen in here, guys. Okay, and then we're gonna take a little bit of this fresh parsley here. Just give it a little bit of a rough chop. 
a real rough job. <laughs> okay, and just toss a little of that in there for some nice fresh flavor. Look at that cheese melting that together. Delicious, it smells amazing. And just like that, it's done. Okay, I'm gonna serve some of this up on a plate here just to taste it. Again, you can stuff this back into the spaghetti squash shell, or you can serve it as a delicious side dish with anything. Uh, it's literally like having pasta, I'm telling you. I even like to twirl it around because it makes me feel like I'm eating spaghetti. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, this is amazing. And the Pecorino Romano cheese in it just sets it over the top along with the spices from the Italian herbs that are in there. It's just, this is amazing and it's very low in carbs so it's a really good alternative to mashed potatoes or pasta. You know what I'm saying guys? <laughs> All right, and again, season it to taste how you like it. You can use more salt, less salt. You can use pepper, whatever you'd like in there. And you can also put some crushed red pepper flakes on there if you want a little bit of kick in that. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for being with me. If you enjoyed this video, give a girl a thumbs up. I would really like that. If you enjoyed this channel and these kind of step-by-step -step instructions on how to make things, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. <laughs> Welcome to the family. All right, guys, be sure to watch me on Facebook and Instagram Live every Thursday night at 8.15. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.